All right, Jalen Rose, what it do, fam? So, speaking of family, I know we saw LeBron go back to Cleveland. Never thought we'd see that happen. Were you as shocked as everybody else that Dwayne Wade is actually going to be wearing a Miami Heat uniform again, given the way it ended with Pat Riley? Michael Smith, I am not surprised. And you just mentioned the reason why. Pat Riley, the ultimate puppeteer, or like Big Daddy Kane would say, the smooth operator. I appreciate the fact that not only did he trust in Eric Spolstra enough to coach the basketball team, and the team went to four finals and won two championships, there were times during that period where he didn't see eye to eye with LeBron and they bumped into each other and going to the timeout. Same with Dwayne Wade. And the relationship kind of soured to the point where each of those individuals ended up playing elsewhere. Now for Dwayne Wade, Miami has always been home. Mm -hmm. I was never a proponent of him going to Chicago. Right. I understand why he went to the Cavs. But being back in Miami, a playoff team with Goran Dragic and Whiteside at this point of their career is going to yep. be terrific. And you know I support power couples. Exactly. And Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle are one of Mama my favorites. Mama happy. <laughs> if Mama Absolutely. happy, everybody happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm always happy when you drop those references, your reference game. A1, the B-I-G-D-A-D-D-Y-K-N-E, I got you there. All right. Meanwhile, Love the Cavaliers. It. Did they get better yesterday? Do you think they got better? I know you haven't seen them play. I get that. It's going to take some time to gel. But just on paper, do you think they got better and are they more of a contender than they were before the deadline? How about this? They got better the second trade for Isaiah Thomas and Crowder and the other four individuals that left the team than they did from the initial trade of Kyrie Irving. They lost six players, gained four in three different deals. George Hill and Clarkson are going to be capable defenders that can shoot the basketball. Hood is an underrated wing player that just had 30 points recently off the bench in Utah and shoot the three. And Larry Nance Jr. is a sleeper. He's going to be able to play five. He's going to get him flexibility up front. He's going to get out in transition and have a lot of spectacular dunks and excite the crowd. I think now this Cleveland Cavalier team, who a week ago I felt was poised to possibly lose in the second round, now clearly have what it take on the floor, if healthy, to win the Eastern Conference. All right, man. We will hear more.